So what exactly is the theme.json file? Well, in simple terms, it's the file that defines your theme's configuration, including settings and styles. But it does not set up the default settings and styles of your theme, and I'll explain why shortly. So understanding how it works and how overrides take priority is crucial. And the first thing to do when developing your own block theme is to check out the core default theme.json configuration in the wp-includes folder. There you'll find a theme.json file that sets up the default settings and styles for your theme. This is the master file loaded by default, and anything in your theme.json file will override it. This reference file is super useful, not just for overriding the settings, but also for understanding where to set things in your own theme.json structure. Now, let me explain how it doesn't work. You might think if you set up a block theme with an empty theme.json file, and by that I mean not adding any settings or styles, that everything will be flatlined or treated as a blank canvas if you like, but nope. If your theme.json doesn't specify a setting or a style, the theme.json in the core WP includes folder steps in with the defaults, regardless of what's not set in your theme.json file. Now this might come across as opinionated, but it logically makes sense. So, to reset a default, you must explicitly set it in your theme.json file. And that's how you level up your skills. So by using the core theme.json file that comes from the WP includes folder, and knowing how to prioritize your theme.json to override the defaults, will hopefully save you going down a deep, dark rabbit hole when developing your own block themes. Now, when you release your theme into the wild, there are further prioritized settings and styles in the site editor's global styles, and then on a more granular level for the block settings. But I'll save that for another video. Hopefully this little tip helps you get started developing your own block themes and taking full control of your theme's appearance and functionality. And don't worry, there are more tips like this coming. So smash the like button if you found this useful. And don't forget to subscribe for quick tips like this.